Okay, go. Okay. Jean, no, look at the camera. When and where were you born? I was born in Duluth, Minnesota. When? In 1912. August 25th. Okay. Who, who are your parents? And what do you remember about your parents or your grandparents? And when and where did they emigrate from? My parents were Tilly and Abraham Kaplan. And then it was changed because of when they came over, they had to do it that way because the people in front of them were Kaplan. <laughs> anyway, Rubenstein. Now, what would you like to know? Uh, where did they emigrate from? Where were they from? From Russia. Do you know what part of Russia? Yes, right here. If you can read it. Minsk, Bernia, that I know. Well, if you want to hold the map up. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to get your face. I'll give point to where it is on the map. It's, it's down here. It says Letterchev which is, um, I think it's in Lower Belarusia. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, your father's family, did, did your mother and father's family emigrate from the same place? That I wouldn't know. Okay. Do you know how, how they met? Was it an arranged marriage or? That I don't know. You don't know. Okay. And did, uh, did they marry in Russia or did they marry? They were married in Russia. Did they have children there, or were all your siblings born here? No, they did not have children at that time. Uh, do you know why they left Europe? Because they had friends in in New York, and in Keewatin, Minnesota. Keewatin, for okay. Uh, so they came to Minnesota because they had, they came directly from New York to. Did they emigrate in? No, to they New went York? from New York. They went to Chisholm because they had friends there by the name of Bannons. Oh. And in Kiwatin, they had friends by the name of Sherman. And the Sherman uh, youngster, live, youngster man lives here in St. Paul. Tom Sherman. That's right. Uh -huh. um, what was your father or grandfather's occupation in Europe? That I don't know. You don't know. What language did your parents speak at home? Uh, Yiddish. Yiddish. Did they read and write English? Um, yes, a little bit. And I have their writing here and all. And I also have a picture of the ship that they came over in. Oh, for heaven's sake. It's called the SS Pretoria. It was a Hamburg American line. Huh. Wonderful. Isn't that what wonderful? Year, what year did they come over, you know? Do you know what year they came? Wait, we'll see it. Here. Oh, this is Tilly and Abraham. Oh, I have their birth. It's all right. You know. Everything here. Okay. Um, tell us about your siblings, Jean. Um, from oldest to youngest, their names. My oldest brother was Joe Rubenstein, Max Rubenstein, Harry Rubenstein. So far, that was all that was born there as far as 1939. I have a sister that is um, in Coronado. And. Uh, what is her name? I beg your pardon? What is her name? Edna High Oprin. And she lives in Coronado, and she will be 99 years old. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Where did you fall yeah. into the family? What? Right. After whom or before whom? Uh, State no, the after, order of their birth. Joe is the oldest. Max, Harry, Edna's is February 25th, and then me. You were the baby. Were you the baby? I was the baby. Oh, I thought Harry was the baby. Who was? Harry. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was the baby. Oh, okay. Um, did your mother work outside the home? Never. Okay. Excuse um, me, can I ask a question? Sure. You were born in Duluth, but that isn't where you lived, was it? No. Where did you Where live? were you raised? Uh, in Gilbert, Minnesota. All of you lived in Gilbert? 
All of us lived in Gilbert. What did your father do in Gilbert? He had a store, a very fine store, and they, he carried Pendleton sweaters, and I remember I had a Pendleton blanket <laughs> that was done in stripes. And they were in business for a long time, and I have on the wall, I have a picture of my father and mother. I'll have to get it. And I also have the hats that she used to wear. And that is on a wall in the other room. Um, did you, in Gilbert, did you have any, um, well, probably not Gilbert. Did, when you lived in Gilbert, did you go to synagogue in Virginia or in Evelyn? No, didn't go at all. Oh, you didn't? No, I never had a Jewish education or as far as did, did your brothers? No. They were not bar mitzvah. Oh, they weren't? No. Oh, okay. Um, were your parents, keep, did they keep kosher? Were they religious oh, themselves? Oh, yes, they kept religion. Oh, uh, kosher. Oh, indeed. How oh, well I remember. On a Thursday afternoon, my brother would, would drive my mother to a farm and she would pick out the chicken that she wanted and she would come back and go to Mr. Cohn in Evelyn and he would do the slaughtering. That was Elliot's grandfather. That's right. Uh -huh. Elliot had another brother too by the name of David. He was a, a bit retarded. And a sister too. Do you, recall, do you remember them? No. no. I don't either. Um, you went to high, you went to school in Gilbert. Yes. Through high school. Through high school. And then what? And then I went to junior college. Where? In Virginia. I see. And your brothers did in Edna. No, my brother Joe went to school at the Chicago Art School, and he had to come home because my father had passed away, and he would have to take care of the store. Oh. Where was the store? Where then? was the store? The store was in Gilbert? In Gilbert, oh yes. There is, a, shall I go get the pictures? No, 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 no. no. Um, did you have girl, uh, Jewish friends growing up? You know, there was another Rubenstein family living in Gilbert, and we were not related. Uh, they, we always called them the rich Rubensteins. They moved to Chicago, and they had the Chicago, uh, the uh, Rubenstein Lumber Company. They had a son by the name of George Rubenstein, and boy, did he like me. He even sent me a book of poetry. <laughs> and at that time, who <laughs> would think of poetry? <laughs> no. um, when, when you completed school, uh, and for your, bro for your brothers as well, did they go into the business? Yes. They, uh, they decided they would open a store in Virginia. Uh -huh. So Max took care of the store in Virginia, and Joe took care of the store in Gilbert. Now mind you, Joe was living in Virginia. Max was living in Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> That, 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 uh, that always, I always got to keep that. Gene, what was the name of your store in, in Gilbert? T. Rubenstein and Sons. T. Rubenstein and Sons. And then when they moved to Virginia, they called it the Hub, and it was just a half a store. And then after a year or two, they were very successful, and they took over the whole building. Why was it T. Rubenstein and Sons? Tilly Rubenstein. That. Oh, yes. oh, for, oh, for Grandma Tom. Okay, after completing school, and you went to junior college. Yes. And then what? Then I went to Madison, and um, I took courses there. How oh, well I remember going up that basketball, <laughs> that <it was> cold. <laughs> and then I was, then Edna said, I can get a job for you. I said, what kind? She says, a secretarial job. So what do I care? So I took it. And I worked half days and then continued with classes at the university. And I wanted to, the class I wanted was what everyone should know about law. And my son said, forget that. <laughs> and that is about 
And then I got married. Well, wait, wait, go back a little bit. Uh, what was your social life like when you were single? Oh, must I tell you? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No, I had a wonderful time. Did, I had you, what, did you date just Jewish boys or did you date Gentile boys too? No, I, I dated Jimmy Carney, who was truly a little Irish boy, real cute. And then I used to date Bapo, Bapo Catola. Oh. That was Lester Catola's uh, brother that Fern Nathanson used to date. So we had a wonderful Fern. time. Well, how did you meet Howard? How did I meet Howard? Oh, I know how well I know. I got a call and he said, this is Howard Scheibel. And I said, yes. And he says, the high Y are having a party and I'd like to take you. Well, I said, I'm sorry, but I'm busy. <laughs> I didn't think, after all, I'm, I'm dating a junior college kid, what would I do? Well, Edna came home and she says, how could you refuse Howard Scheibel? He is so nice. He is president of this and he's a, uh, he's a wonderful girl and he belongs to the D. Malay and blah, blah, blah. She said, I think you ought to call him. So I called him and I said, um, Howard, I can go with you. And he says, that's fine. Were you in high school then? Or were you uh huh. And I want you to know from the, day, from the first date we ever had, we clicked. Mm -hmm. Yes. What was Howard doing at the time? Was he in school himself? Or was yes, he, he was going to junior college. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to the University of Minnesota. And whereas it usually takes about four years, he made it in three and a half. And he lived on White Castle hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Did you have any other relatives on the range? Any no. other Rubenstein relatives? No, they weren't related to us at all. No, not the other, not the rich Rubensteins, but did you have other family? No. Uh -uh. And the Bannons or the Shermans weren't family? The Bannons weren't. There was a Stein family. They weren't, no. They were yeah. all just friends. Uh -huh. Did your uh, grandparents ever come to this country? No. Or aunts or uncles? An uncle did. Do you remember his yeah, name? His name was Max Kaplan. And he had a butcher shop in Virginia on 2nd Avenue. Hmm. There used to be, I think, three butcher shops around there. Really Jewish uh-huh. The oh, winers sure. had one in Eveleth, and then the Combs had one in Eveleth. There were two in Eveleth. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, Gee, tell us about your life in Virginia, your children. Uh, tell us your children's names. I had Bob Scheibel and Don Scheibel. And how many grand... I'm going to diverse, uh, just digress for a minute. How many um, grandchildren do you have? Wait, I, could, I have three, five, six, seven, nine. Grandchildren? No. Yes. No, that's your great-grandchildren. Yeah, but grandchildren. Yeah, grandchildren. How many, you've got four grandchildren, don't you? What? What grandchildren? Well, Bob has two children and Donnie, oh, and Donnie has three grandchildren. So you've got five uh, grandchildren. Five. yeah. And how many great-grandchildren? I just counted them Nine. for you. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, where were your children born? Bob. Bob was born in, um, in Duluth. And, and Donnie was born in Virginia. Um, in Virginia, did you celebrate the Jewish holidays? Yes, we did. There used to be a lot of Jewish families there. Mm -hmm. Did you keep kosher in Virginia? I did for a while because of my mother's sake, yes. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that my brother Max made Ruth keep kosher because he wanted his mother to be able to come and eat in his home. Um, did all of your brothers and sisters move eventually to Virginia? Yes, well, no. Um, uh, uh, Joe moved to Virginia, Max did. Um, except Edna, she went on after she got married while she was going to 
the University of Wisconsin. And lived in Madison. Uh -huh. But all the rest of you lived in, in Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Jean, um, what year were you married? Do you remember? 1936. What kind of wedding did you have? Fancy a people. big one. Did you? Where did you have it? Where were you married? I was. We were. They had a recreational building in Virginia oh, really? on First Street South, and we were married. We were married at home, and it was just to be family. But my mother sneaked in, Mrs. Dorfman, and and two other of her friends, because uh, I'll never forget. Because had I known, the Brights lived in Gilbert at the time. I would have had Mrs. Bright to the wedding. Uh, we had a big wedding. Who officiated? Who was, was there a rabbi? Yes. Other places? There was a rabbi. No, not funny. I can't remember his name. Would have been Rabbi Goodman. I don't really. Where did he come from? Who? The rabbi. the rabbi. That I wouldn't know. Did you have bridesmaids? Did I have bridesmaids? No. Uh, wait a minute, my no, I didn't. Edna, Edna, perhaps. No, we didn't have a regular. We were married at home. Ah, uh, no bridesmaids. Did you go on a honeymoon? Oh, and how? <laughs> 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 I want you to know we really went on a honeymoon. Where did you go? First of all, we reached Attica, Indiana, the first night. It was a terrible, terrible uh, snowstorm, and it was icy and all. So we had to stay there for a day. Then we went on to Florida. Did you drive? Howard drove all the way. What kind of car did you have? We had, we had <laughs> um, a car with a rumble seat in the back. <laughs> Was it a Buick? No, that, no, no. We got a Buick <laughs> later in life. Um, then you went to Attica, and then you went else from there someplace? Florida. Florida. To Florida. Florida. Then from Florida, we went up to Washington, D.C., and we visited with um, Harriet Hoberman at the time. Harriet, she married uh, Dorfman, Bernard Dorfman later on. And then from there, we went to New York, and I remember I met Pop's sister, and her name was Lena. Pop's uh, meaning? Um your that father my father-in-law, yeah, and we stayed there for two weeks, and then we came home, and that was another hoo-ha, <laughs> <laughs> and we lived with uh, with Nan and Pops just for a short while until we got an apartment, and we got the apartment because there was a Nelson Electric, was it in Virginia? I don't recall. If we would buy the refrigerator and stove from them, they would let us have that apartment. And we lived upstairs of the Foxes. The Foxes had, uh, had the uh, Johnson, she was a Johnson girl, they had the Johnson floral place. What, what, was Howard in the clothing business at that time? Uh-huh, then. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah he Brenda, maybe ask oh, he was in the clothing store because I remember Jean, before. Tell tell about how pops came. How, how pops? Well, Nana was from Duluth. Tell how pops. Came. Pops' name was David Scheibel. Tell how how pops came from Finland, and and came to Virginia. How did pops come to Virginia? Do you know? Do you remember? No. No, I wouldn't know that. Okay. But he spoke Finnish. Oh, he lived in Finland for a while. Oh, he, he spoke, was from he spoke Swedish, Finnish, no. Norwegian, and I. <laughs> he was I just from Helsinki. I used to. And and they don't have, remember how he came. Don't you remember? There was a picture of him, always in the store, and to this day, a picture of Pops, in, and it says Helsinki Boyka, that means Helsinki boy, <laughs> and all the, all the Finnish people used to come, and they would bring their letters that was to read or else he would write for them. Mm -hmm. And then God forbid a Finnish guy come in the store to buy a pair of pants. He says they fit, they fit, and he would wrap them up and then twist them. <laughs> what, what, when did he open that store? What year? Do you have any, do you remember that? No. No? 
Wait, why don't we see? Um, Jean, this is natural relation. Okay. Jean, tell us about about your mom. Was she a good cook? She was an excellent cook. She did made she good pasties. Did she teach you to cook? No. Who taught you to cook? Because you're an excellent cook. I had to learn, honey. <laughs> Who taught you? Did you learn? Myself. By, oh, I see. What are your specialties other than your cheesecake? Ugh. What are your specialties? Uh, chocolate cake. That I uh -huh. No, that was Raina Greenberg's recipe. But pasties. Yeah. I don't know. You make awfully good pies. Me make a pie? No. no. Uh -uh. What Cheesecake. are your hobbies, Jean? What were your hobbies? At that time? No, when you were a young wife and had children. What were your hobbies? Honey, I was very busy raising. I really and truly gave my life. I'm raising those kids used to take them all over, used to teach them everything. We'd go to the Yellowstone National Park, we would explain it, we would go to South Dakota, explain all of that. We were good parents. And uh, to this day, they said we were the best. Were you active in uh, Jewish organizations in Virginia? Oh, yes. Like? Um, the Hadassah, uh -huh. and then the Consul, mm -hmm. and then they merged. Oh, uh, yeah. who merged? the Consul and the Hadassah. Did um, Eveleth have a separate no. uh, uh, group from Virginia or were they all together? All together. I see. Um, in your family, are there family heirlooms like candlesticks or jewelry, things that have been handed down? Did Grandma Tilly have things, uh, Nana Scheibel have things that were handed down to you? Well, if Nana, those would have been given to her daughters. Oh, I see. And, and what and about I your mother's things? My mother's things? 